Is the water at your home cottage or cabin brown? You know, like a weak tea color? Are you tired of the complaints from your friends and family about the color of your water? If you notice when you go to fill a bathtub, the deeper the water gets, the darker the color gets. Is that color tannins? Is that color iron? What is it actually? How does the tannin filter work? Well, I'm going to explain it all to you starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. If you're concerned about the weak tea color at your home cottage or cabin, this video is definitely for you. You're going to learn how to figure out whether that color is being caused by tannins or by something else. You're also going to learn the different treatment options that are available to you, and you're also going to learn which treatment options you should definitely avoid to get rid of those tannins for your family. Typically, color in your water can be caused by a number of things. But if the color is brown or sort of a yellowy color, it's either iron or tannins. Now, you, you can uh, there's a number of ways that you can have it tested to find out which one that actually is in your case. So you could send the water sample to a, a lab and have them test it for you. Now, they, it's usually fairly expensive and it does take some time. The other option is you can mail us a sample. We'll test it for you for free. Now, I'll put our address in the... Um, in the description down below where you would send that sample. But I'm, I'm going to show you right now a few simple tests that you can do at home to determine which it is for your family. So to do a tannin test at home, I recommend that you get some white styrofoam cups, let some water run at the kitchen sink, take a water sample, fill it up into the cup, and see if there's any color in the water. If there's no color in the water at all, but when the water sits, it turns color, that's iron, that's not tannins. If you have color in your water immediately as it comes out of the faucet, it may be tannins or it may be iron, and you need to differentiate between the two. And to differentiate between the two, you're going to need some of this stuff. Okay, so this is a rust out. It's, it's a powder. I'll put a link in the description down below. We have it available on our e-commerce store. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take You're going to take about a half teaspoon and pour it into your cup. Now in these cups you can see I've got them labeled. This one's labeled T for tannins and this one's labeled I for iron. And I just wanted to show you the difference uh, between the two. And uh, now it's always a possibility that you've got iron and tannins in your water. So that uh, may be a possibility. But what you do is once you've put the uh, the iron out in your water, you give it a stir, and then you need it to give it a little bit of time. So what's happening here is if there's iron in the water, that uh, chemical is going to oxidize out the iron from your water. And uh, so once the, it turns clear, then you're going to see that the color is gone. And if, the, if, the, if the, it takes all of the color out, that means that you have iron. If it takes some of the color out, that means it's removed the iron portion of the color, but the tannin remains behind. So you can see I've I've labeled these two, the T at the front and I for iron, and uh, so this was an iron sample here, and this was a uh, tannin sample here. So if I tilt it a little bit so you can see a little bit better in the camera, this one here you can see the color's pretty much gone. So if I compare this to, I'll just slide this over here for a second, I'll compare this to, so you can see that this one here has less color. This is the iron, the water that had iron in it that I just put in a cup so we could use it for comparison purposes. So you can see there wasn't as much color obviously as there was in the tannin filter, but you can see that uh, chemical removed all the iron from the water. So, so next I'll show you what happens um, when we pass um, the water with the tannins through a tannin filter. So this is my demonstration tannin filter that I use. It has the same media in it as the large whole house uh, tannin filter. And uh, so what happens is I find that uh, folks find it beneficial to see what, uh, how their water turns out after it's run through the tannin filter so they can have some kind of idea of what to expect. So I'm just passing it through here. It goes through here relatively slowly. Just passing it through there. And because I want to compare equal amounts, so we're comparing apples to apples, I need the smaller cup to fit under here. 
I'll keep passing it through so I've got the same amount so we can compare the two. Close this off so it doesn't make a mess here. Dump this in there. And there, so we have pretty similar amounts. So you can see when I hold the, the two up, you can see there's a big difference. Uh, this was before it went through the tannin filter, whoops, and this is after it's gone through the tannin filter. So you can see that uh, the tannin filter does a great job of removing tannins uh, from your water. All right, so how do we get rid of those tannins? Well, one option is you could go with a filter cartridge, something like this. So this is a 20 inch slimline cartridge. They're also available in the smaller size, in the 10 inch uh, slimline. They're also available in the 20 inch big blue size. The only problem with these ones is that, uh, first of all, they're very expensive to begin with, but they don't last very long. And that's the biggest problem. This filter here only gives you 300 gallons of capacity. So if you're using this for a small cabin, where there's only one or two people there, you're only there the odd weekend and that kind of thing, this may very well be a good solution for you. But if it's a situation where you've got four or 10 people there and you're there for a couple of weeks in the summertime, this is not gonna work for you because it's only good for 300 gallons of capacity. And uh, if you have a large group there on the weekend, you'll burn through 300 gallons of water in one weekend. So this would not be the right solution for you. You need to go with a whole house uh, type of solution like this here. So this tannin filter is a whole house tannin filter or a whole cottage or a whole cabin uh, type tannin filter. So in this image, you can get a better idea for what the tannin filter actually looks like. So you can see the different components of it, the valve at the top, the media tank, and the salt reservoir. So tannin filters do use salt. Now, if you're thinking right now, hey, this looks an awful lot like a water softener, you're right. It looks uh, exactly outwardly from a water softener, but there's a big difference uh, inside it. And the media is totally different than the media that's inside a water softener. So don't confuse the two. A tannin filter removes tannins from your water, doesn't soften the water, just removes tannins. A water softener softens your water, doesn't remove tannins. So like I say, whatever you do, don't confuse the two. One thing you need to keep in mind when you're going with a whole house tannin filter like one of these over here. Like I say, they use salt like a water softener, but they use a whole lot more salt than a water softener. And a typically sized um, tannin filter can easily go through three bags of salt a month. Fortunately, it's the same bag, the same water softener salt that you use in your water softener. So it's uh, available everywhere and it's relatively low cost, but keep that in mind. So another way to remove tannins from your water is with reverse osmosis. So I definitely don't recommend a whole house um, reverse osmosis system for removing the tannins for your home cottage or cabin. It's definitely overkill. It's a large system. It's very expensive and uh, etc. Et so that's probably the, not the right way to go. But if you have tannins in your water and it really doesn't bother you that much, a little bit of color in your toilet water or a little bit of staining in your uh, shower etc. But all you're really concerned about is your drinking water. You can always go with a uh, drinking water system like this. This is our Hume Water Saver 75 reverse osmosis system. System. The only additional thing that I would recommend is that you add an ultraviolet light to uh, kill any bacteria that there might be in the water to make sure that uh, the water is uh, not only tannin free but also bacteria free. All right, so let's talk about how this thing actually removes the tannins from your water. So it's connected to the plumbing at the back here so water flows in and then it flows down through the tank and inside the tank there's media inside there, tannin media, this stuff here. As it's flowing over that media, the, um, the tannin sticks to the media, water continues down to the bottom of the uh, tannin filter, and in the bottom there's a cone or a screen, water flows into that screen, and then flows up through a one inch tube up through the middle of this uh, tank, and then heads to your home cottage or cabin. 
So while you're using your water, it's continually removing the tannins. After three days of use, it needs to regenerate or clean out those tannins from inside here and go through its uh, regeneration procedure. So again, very similar procedure to a water softener. The first stage is it backwashes. So water flows backwards through the system, down through the tube, out through the screen, it expands the media from filling about two, two thirds of the tank to filling the whole tank and it flushes all the debris to the drain. So that's why it's connected to the drain. Then you've got the brine tank. That's where the salt is stored. Salt and water makes brine. So it sucks the brine from that tank, runs it over the media, the, the tannin media inside the tank and that releases the tannins and also recharges those beads, flushes all that uh, brine to the drain, rinses it to get rid of the brine, puts the right amount of water back in with the salt to make more brine for the next time and puts it back into service. Does all of that automatically, you don't have to push any buttons or tell it what to do. The only thing is it needs to go through that cycle at a time when there's very little water, water usage in your home cottage or cabin. So keep in mind that when you're doing the installation of these systems, you need to think about the order of the water flow through water filtration equipment, especially if you have multiple pieces of equipment. So uh, if you're on well water and you've got iron and you've got hard water, the, the, your water would need to flow through those pieces of equipment first before they go through the tannin filter. But the tannin filter would need to go before the ultraviolet light and the pre-filter for the ultraviolet light. If you're on a surface water source and you've got a, a backwashable Nexan type filter to remove the dirt from the water, it would go through the Nexan filter first or any kind of coarse uh, type uh, filtration that you have would go through that first to remove the dirt from the water. Then it would go through the tannin filter and again it would go through the pre-filter and the ultraviolet light. So can you install one of these yourself? Well, it depends on your plumbing ability and your mechanical aptitude, but anyone that's ever installed a water softener can install a tannin filter because they install exactly the same. I'll put a link to my playlist on water softener installation. Follow the procedure there and it's exactly the same, super easy. So now let's talk about what you should avoid, and that is you should avoid a combined water softener and tannin filter. The problem with those ones are that they have very little tannin filter media inside them. So what happens is they only last for a couple years, and then you have to replace all the media, which costs usually around $1,000. So definitely something you should avoid. I constantly get uh, emails from folks asking, why is my tannin filter not working after a couple years? And then I find out after uh, a number of questions, that uh, it's a combined tannin filter and water softener. So whatever you do, don't get one of those for your family. You'll definitely be disappointed. So now that you're ready to tackle those tannin filters for your family, click here for my next video on water softeners and tannin filters, including the installation, winterizing, etc. And I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below. I'd love to read them and I'd love to answer yours.